Hi, second graders. Mrs. Shook with our grade two skills. Unit one, lesson 14. Tricky words and tricky spelling G. Okay, we're going to review our previously learned words and learn some new words. Do, to, down, and how. We're going to be able to read and sort words with the tricky spelling G because that tricky G has two different sounds. Um, re and then we're going to read a text and answer questions about that text. Our first tricky word. If I was to say it the way it's pronounced, d, ah, da, no, no, no. The O says, ooh, do, what can we do today? So the O is the tricky part of that word. T, ah, two, again, the O says, ooh, two. The O is the tricky part of this word. We are going to the store. There's a bunch of different types of the word two, but this one is one you're doing like going to the store. I'm going to give this to you. All right. D -a -w -n. D -a -w -n. Mm -mm. In this word, the O W work together to say ow, <laughs> ow, down. The word is down. Put your pencils down. <clears throat> Here's another tricky word with the O W saying ow. This time it's how. How are you today? Ow. Okay, now to review, excuse me, all of the words we've been working on. The, same with me. He, she, we, be, me, of, was, a, down, do, how, to, Okay. All right. Our tricky letter G, our tricky spelling G. Normally when we think of G, we hear G, right? Oops, sorry. Such as in got, gum, and big, right? But the letter G can also sound like a J, like a J, like in the word legend, gem, tragic. All of those words you can hear the j sound. So G, G can be tricky. Now when you see a letter G in a word, most of the time it's going to sound like g. So number one, if you see a word and you're not sure how to pronounce the G, usually it's going to say g. So sound it out. G -at, got, g um, gum. But sometimes it'll sound like a J. So if you're reading this and you said gem, that doesn't sound right. Try j instead. Gem. So tricky, tricky. So for the j sound, sometimes it will be spelled with a g. Okay? Sometimes that will be spelled with a g. Add that to your um, individual code chart with, with red for the j sound. The j sound is sometimes spelled with the letter g. Okay, we're going to sort some of our words. You're going to sort some more on the Google um, form at the end of the lesson. They're giving you a sentence, and you have to find the, the tricky G, um, and then decide if it's a J or a G. Is it a G like got or J like gem? They did the first one for us. The sentence was, he did a magic trick. Okay, here's the G, magic. Is it a magic or a magic? Magic. J sound. Okay, our next one. Look at sentence two. Let's see, where is the G? G. Oh, there it is. All right. Is it a G or a J? Is it gills or jills? This fish, fish has gills or jills. What do you think? Good. Fish have Gills, g g gills. All right. So we have mag, magic, and gills. Number three. Dad is the best at what? Is he the best at golf or jolf? Good. Dad is the best at golf. So that's just what you're going to do when you're working on your individual lesson. Look at the word with a G. Sound it out. Is it a g? Or a j sound and select the correct one. 
Again, that will be on the um, excuse me, Google Forms. All right, now to our reading portion. We are on to a new story called The Snack Mix. Anyone ever had a snack mix? Makes me think of like a trail mix. Um, all kinds of different little snacks in there. Pretzels or little chocolate chips or peanuts or M&Ms, any of that stuff. Sounds good to me. All right. Predict how the cat bandit might try to get the snack mix. So we know that the cat bandit's always trying to steal things that are not his. He's stolen a hot dog and a chicken nugget so far. He's been pretty creative when he's done so, right? Jumping up on things, building stairs with boxes. Hmm. I wonder how he's going to get the snack mix today. Any ideas what he might try? We'll have to see. Let's see if your predictions are correct. Okay, here's our reader. If you have the reader, you are going to turn to page 10. Our story vocabulary for today, deck. A deck is the floor on the outside of a house that people can walk and sit on. Kind of like a, like a big porch. Example, she likes to sit out on the deck when the weather is nice. So you might go outside your house and there's a deck outside. Tongs, a tool used to grab small objects. I use the tongs to move the chicken from the hot pan to the plate. So they're usually long, they like cling together, and you can grab stuff with them and move it. Swish, the whis the whis sorry, the whistling or rustling sound made by a quick movement. So swish. I heard the swish of the ball when my sister threw it past my head. And sayings and phrases, at last. If you hear someone saying at last, they're saying, oh finally. At last, we arrived home after a long day. Finally, we arrived home. Is a replacement, is the word finally. Right, and then another review of the punctuation we've talked about. This is a period, very good. Just a standard, regular sentence, just declarative, just telling you something. This is a, good, it's an exclamation point. It shows... It shows excitement, like, yay! And then the last one is, there you go, a question mark, a question mark shows someone's asking a, a question. Good. What do you want for lunch today? Question. Woohoo, let's go! Exclamation point. My dog is brown, period. So do you hear how the voice changes a little bit when you read sentences or say sentences with those different punctuations. Great. So we'll be looking for those as we read our story today and if when you read anything, honestly. Okay, let's get started. The snack mix. Again, read with me. Beth left a basket of snack mix on a shelf. The cat bandit spotted the snack mix. See the cat bandit looking up at this bowl of snack mix on the shelf. He felt he had to get it. But how? He sat thinking. Then he got up and ran off to the deck. The cat bandit got the grilling tongs Dad kept next to the gas grill. See, he was, they got these tongs right here. Long grabby things. He set the tongs up on the rug. Then he went and got a bunch of rocks. Hmm. Stop right there. Using the picture, maybe a prediction you might have had. He's got tongs. He's got a rock. What is he possibly doing? What could he be doing with those? Let's see. Let's keep reading. Let's see if your thought is correct. He got a... Sorry. He set the rocks on the rug. He got a rock and set it down on top, on the top tong. Okay, so tongs are laying there. He's got a rock on top. He set his leg on the top prong to press it down. Then he let the tongs spring up. Swish! The rock went zipping off. Bing! The rock hit the shelf. But... It did not hit the basket with the snack mix. What is he doing? He's using the tongs 
putting a rock on top, pushing it down and letting a rock fling through the air. Let's read that again to see if we get all the details. The cat bandit got the grilling tongs dad kept next to the gas grill. He set the tongs up on the rug. Then he went and got a bunch of rocks. He set the rocks on the rug. He got a rock and set it down on the top tong. He set his leg on the top tong to press it down. Then he let the tong spring up. Swish! The rock went zipping off. Bing! The rock hit the shelf. But it did not hit the basket with the snack mix. The bandit set a rock on the tongs and shot it. Swish, bing, swish, bing, swish, bing. The bandit shot six rocks. But the rocks did not hit the basket of snack mix. At last, swish, smack. The seventh rock hit the basket. So, seven rocks. The basket fell down. It landed on the rug. The rug was dotted with snack mix. Then, chomp, chomp, chomp. That was the end of the snack mix. So finally, he did seven rocks, nothing. Finally, or six rocks, nothing. Finally, the seventh rock hit the basket and it fell on the rug. He was able to eat it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's retell our story. We just read it, the snack mix, so it's fresh in our brains. Let's retell what happened first, next, after that, and finally, the last part. Okay, so, first, first what happened? First, yes, first the cat bandit saw the snack mix that Beth left on the shelf, and he's like, hmm, I need to think what, how, I need, I need to get it, I need to get it, oh my goodness. So he's thinking of a plan. Then, he ran outside and got what? He got some tongs, good, and some rocks. So first he thought, saw the snack mix, thought he had to have it. He went and gathered all of his materials, the rocks and the tongs. After that, yes, after that, he set up the tongs with the rocks and started shooting them. How many did he shoot? Yes. Six rocks, nothing, but finally, on the seventh rock, he knocked the basket down and was able to eat the snack mix. Great job. Okay. So, we are all done reading our story for today. We talked about the snack mix. We talked about the tricky G and how it is spelled with a G, but it could sound like a G or sound like a J and try them out. On your Google Forms, you are going to talk about, answer a few questions about the story, and you're going to answer a few questions sorting words by the j or g sound. And that is all. Great work today, guys.